Hello and welcome my friend. Today I would like to show you some of the silk cushions that I have painted over the years again. This one is one of my first ones. Once I got confident with blending colors to achieve the backgrounds that I wanted, then I started experimenting with wax. So I would draw, in this case, ivy leaves first and then I would paint the background so the ivy leaves would stay white and then I would paint the entire surface here with wax. I would scrunch up the fabric and I would then paint with these uh, same colors as the background. So then I, I would get this crackle effect that is typical of batik work so i hope you like that one it's one of my favorites and the very popular subject and recurring theme in all of my uh, silk painting are flowers so here i did this wonderful hollyhock that my grandmother used to have in her garden and uh, she actually saw me painting this she was thrilled to bits and it's one of my favorite uh, flowers to paint as well. So this one is painted completely hand free. There are no borders here, there is no wax used because I got now a little bit more free and confident to do these lines like the leaf veining and uh, also on the flowers as well to make it look more realistic um, so that I could achieve this three-dimensional look that I wanted to, to achieve. And this cushion cover is actually a bouquet of stargazer lilies and African violets. I don't know how I put the two together, but the concept came to me. And this is also free hands drawn. So if you remember yesterday when I started how my colors were not uh, blending, obviously I didn't have a feel how it is to paint on silk. But as I got more and more comfortable, my confidence grew and I started um, to apply subtle washes here and the precise shading to achieve this um, realness to the flower so that it does look like a, like a real flower and not something that's flat. So the last cushion cover I'm going to show you today without the pad inside so that you can see that here I used the cushion cover that was already made and it was white in color. That's why the, the zip here is white. Um, and it, the back, I always paint the background to match back to match it with the front. So it had the lighter lilac here and dark purple. And if you are Lancome perfume lover, you will know this, uh, this pattern well. So I just reproduced their pattern onto this cushion cover. So there you have it. This is the beginning of my cushion cover ideas because from here I went into making my own cushion covers and I will share that with you in one of the next videos. Enjoy!